Good morning. Welcome to. Uh, it's about 6 a.m. <laughs> uh, I know. You're like, that's not super early. It Get was when you woke up at 5. Yeah. We are in Tracy Arm mm -hmm. today, and we are doing the small boat excursion that we've done one time before and enjoyed a heck of a lot. We're doing the opposite way we did it before, which is where you go start at the mouth mm -hmm. of the glacier area, the fjord. And then um, stop at the glacier instead of the other way around. Why are we doing it this way? <laughs> because the afternoon version or the later version was sold out. Yeah, and this we're is doing the only we time. Want to try. <laughs> what? I think it's because we were forced into it, and the other one sold out. But I am curious to <laughs> see do. the other way. Um, I usually do like. <clears throat> see, my Morning. voice isn't even awake yet. Um, the, the, the fog, if there's fog yet, might burn off in the daytime. Oh, so we'll see how it is doing the early morning version. It'll be chilly. Yeah. It'll so be nice. Actually, might feel like Alaska today. Yeah, I'm excited for that. But first, food. So Continental Breakfast started at 5.30. The full mm -hmm. buffet opens at 6. We're going to eat it, and then we have to meet at 6.30. We got to go. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Deck nine. Oh yeah, they've got like semi-assisted service on the main buffet lines. It's like we're allowed to do meat and cheese and we're allowed to do things like oatmeal. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. Alright, we'll be all fueled up for a boat ride. And now up to our meeting point at the theater. And now we wait along with all the brave souls who are early risers. <laughs> First, you guys are going to be boarding smaller boats. The smaller boats will each have a naturalist on it. And she or he is going to explain the formation of the glacier and animal life should we see it. The moment they do see something, they're going to announce it in the boat. So you're going to get the one-on-one -on -one of glacial forming today as well. And we are off. Oh yeah, I forget we have to march down the deck one hallway but while people are it? sleeping. Oh. No, leave the hackers at sideways. Well, most of, if you most of us are trying to be quiet. And down to deck alpha. And down to deck um negative something. There we go, a few little steps up. Well, we have snagged some prime real estate up here in the top cabin. We are ready for adventure. Okay. Uh, before we fully get underway, I do have a quick change of speech. I have to get here for the Coast Guard requirement. We are done with the safety briefing. We are out and about searching for nature. Feels like Alaska. Yes, it finally feels like Alaska out here. Oh. Yeah, sea lion chilling out on the ledge up there. You got some pictures? You do. All right, photos by D coming soon. <laughs> No, I wouldn't have thought to look up on the ledge for him. We barely started. We got our first nature viewing. I feel like, feel like we're going to have good nature this time of year. Just keep your eyes peeled. Crikey, there's a wild vessel back here. What did I look up? I think that's the American Constellation cruising back there along with us. I've gotten us a little closer to the sea lion up here. Peek over and see this waterfall. Oh, we're starting to move. Quick, let's look at the waterfall before it goes. <laughs> in this waterfall. They got the professional photographer on board taking some pictures for people. That's cool. They were taking pictures against the ship, against natural wonders like this. Yeah, we just need a whale to jump up in here. I guess they say sometimes the confused juveniles will end up in here, but in general you're probably not going to see a whale. We saw one last time. We did? Yeah. Oh, we're, to well, we're the whale whisperers. Hey, never know. Giving us a little rotate now so everybody can peek at this waterfall. We just got our look and came over to the less crowded side of the ship here. There's a boat. Is this a boat? Well, we have gotten close. Okay. <laughs> and the wind gave us a little break there. All right, waterfall, we're off to see more cool stuff. Through the cracks there. Woo there is 
the little path up to North Sawyer. Oh, looks like we are committing to the turn. So I think we'll do North Sawyer first, then go over and end with the spectacle that is South Sawyer. out there oh, a little sausage sea lion seals I think they're sea lions all right let's get a little bit of close glacier looking they're taking some photos does somebody yell about a bear I think they might be joking look at all this oh we got mountain goat spottings yeah let's go look at mountain goats Oh, keep your eyes peeled. Yep, <laughs> everything I think is a goat is a rock. <laughs> I saw something that was like, oh, that's a different color. No, apparently it's a rock. I am terrible at spotting mountain goats. Guys, do you see a mountain goat in this? No, we're slowly getting our rotate on. That side of the boat is getting to see glacial action right now. What is this? A wild, a wild sea creature? Oh no! Yeah. Uh, land, it looked like a little bear up there. Ah, uh, that'd be cool. <laughs> and now we're rotating it around to the back of the vessel because we are going to leave here and go over to the other glacier, or other part of this glacier. Is that how it works? Is it? Well, they're both called Sawyer, so I don't know if they're considered two separate glaciers or different parts of the same glacier, actually. One more shot at trying to see these mountain goats. I'm just gonna record everything. we we'll just pretend everything is a mountain. Look at all those mountain goats up there. Wow, there's a hundred of them. Oh, the other vessel I think is beeping at us. That was the other vessel from the ship honking at us and giving us a greeting. presumably to look for goats. I'm determined Good to luck. learn to be a professional goat spotter. It's not working well so far. I'm a whale spotter. Yeah, you're the whale spotter. My goal is to be a goat spotter. <laughs> no is this a, oh, this is not a goat. Okay, we learned, we learned that earlier. We actually saw a goat and it just disappeared into the bushes up there. It was like a little baby. Oh, man. Hey, goat. Show yourself again. All right, we, we got a goat away now. Uh. <laughs> Guys, I did it. I spotted goats. I'm a professional goat spotter. This is the best day ever. Wow, I am the goat. <laughs> okay. Bye. South Sawyer. Guess we'll just kind of slowly amble our way up there. Oh, I think we've got another goat spotting back there. Look at all that blue. All right, so now begins the search for little sausage babies on the icebergs. Some calving, maybe. Yeah, we got some sausage babies there on that little uh, ice. Um, otherwise known as harbor seals. Oh, okay. Some sausage babies in the water. Or bananas. Oh, ice bananas. <laughs> Y'all make me hungry for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So cute. Mm. Previously on Game of Thrones. Purr, 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 purr. No. <laughs> no. The sheer number of little friends out here is, it's, it's mind-boggling. All over the place, in the water, out of the water. So from what I 
understand we get about 40 minutes here once we get in position to just rotate, watch, listen, and chill, literally. <laughs> now we are getting um close today. That's the benefit of being here in the warmer weather versus, you know, shoulder season, yeah. Ooh, we just had a calving event over there on the right, so I guess we will, um, <laughs> I need to start, you know, recording so I can hopefully capture some of those. Sure that Is this good luck if you rub the glacial ice? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> all right, we've got all the luck now. So keep our eyes peeled. Our oh, ears too. Down. Yeah, it's been heavily to the right side. Mm -hmm. You can see the other boat has caught up to us and they're partying over here. <laughs> yeah, we've turned now, so the glacier is directly behind us and the engines feel be vibrating a little heavier, so that might be the end of our time here at South Sawyer. Well, we will just watch this glacier as long as we can, just in case anything happens. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> coffee, hot chocolate, something. Glacierita, I don't care. Anything warm. Glacierita kind of defeats the purpose, it seems like. I probably won't get that. <laughs> Goodbye, glacier. I guess we will head back inside the heated cabin. Well, they're just making their wrap-up announcements and we're making our way back to the ship. They did say this is as close as the ship is going to get, so they've had to hang out back here by the island. Yeah, I'm curious to see. I guess maybe we'll take a couple of peeks to see how the glacier looks from that distance, but man, we got a lot closer today. Yeah, they're not able to see North Sawyer at all, but they can see South Sawyer, I guess, from a distance. We are safely docked here beside our ship. Let's head back on board. Yep. Well, let's get a quick view. Yeah, that's right. This is the view of South Sawyer Glacier from the ship. Let me see if I can zoom. So that is the little sneaky peek that you get if you stay on the ship. And I think, other than a little bit more on approach, that's about all of the glacier that you would see today because you know, we're going to turn around and head out after this. I'm glad we finally got some Alaska, some Alaska weather. This is what it's supposed to feel like. <laughs> wearing five layers. Five layers? I'm wearing two and I'm, well, that's just me. I'm weird. Well, there's the little galley. I didn't even come down here today at all, actually. And now we climb. <laughs> Welcome to the Lido Deck. It is time for onboard mochas. Maybe. That's very nice. Oh, picky machine. Oh yeah. Boom. <laughs> what is happening? Anyway, y'all, it's gym time. So we're gonna take a little break. 
fit. We'll have some good views from up there. Maybe. Yeah, no, I think I think it should be relatively quiet because we already did our glacier looking. That's so true. now we're gonna go do our glacier looking and walking. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah. We will see you later. Bye. <laughs> Now we're going to run down to deck two. We have got the drop our completed custom declaration form. Now it's lunchtime. Welcome back to the dining room. Now we've noticed different themed lunch menus here in the MDR. I think there was an Asian one the other day that we missed, but today is Mexican Fiesta Day. Now we did have to redeem our diamond drinks, and since this is a lunch, because you have to do breakfast, brunch, or lunch, we've gone margaritas. Well, that was a terrible dink. There we go. Ole! done with lunch. Um, other than the churros, which were a slight miss, that was kind of fantastic. <gasps> Time to go to the club. And they weren't actually that bad. It was just something about the density and the cooking on them, but anyway. So here's what we're looking at out the window right now. We saw the second uh, tour boat come back a little bit early to the ship because I think visibility went to like zero, so yikes. Deck nine. Welcome to the Lido Dome. Well, up next here on the Lido is the Family Ice Fishing Challenge. Now for the first round of the game, we're going to have some fishes over there on this side, and we're going to have our neighbor right here. All right, it's three, two, one, let's go. Line folded oh, no, fish no, 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 no. throwing and catching. A little bit harder. A little bit harder. A little bit harder. Y'all, where did Alaska go? I think, I think it left. I'm not sure though. Good evening. evening, it is fresh and clean and dinner time. Yep. That's all I know. So we're gonna go MDR it up. How has your day been? How was your, how was your experience? Today? Oh no, it was really good. So we did the early one. We weren't sure how that was gonna go. Mm. We ended up with really decent weather. It was cold though. Like yeah, we were both kind of chilly. I didn't have any gloves. Um, the scenery was remarkably beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've never seen the glacier that blue before, probably because it's later in the season. 
got to see a little bit of calving. Not too much. Some harbor seals, some mountain goats. We're good at mo mountain goat spotting now. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> going to be a professional, I tell you. It was beautiful. Uh, no whale action, but apparently that's extremely rare. So the mm -hmm. one time we saw that. Um, Definitely recommend in Tracy Arm to do that excursion yeah. because you don't get super close to the glacier otherwise. This I think we got pretty close, like as close as they can get. Yeah, and that was we were like three yeah. miles away on the big ship and then the little boat got us like six inches down. <laughs> really close, yeah. yeah so if you like the footage you saw, that is because of yeah. the excursion, which is booked only through the ship. Yeah, so no independent tours. Tracy Arm, I'd say that's a good splurge. Yeah. Um, especially if you really want to see the two glaciers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, up close. Yep. And now, dinner, dinner, like I said, and there's like show and there's all kinds of stuff happening. Yeah. So let's evening. Let's have a nice evening. <laughs> Down to deck two. I like all this driftwood artwork that they've got. Yeah. the karaoke now we are heading in for flick showtime looks like they are doing the red carpet event out here in ocean plaza i wonder if they're showing that on the screen inside like they used to our first celebrity Ooh, they do have it showing in here that's fun we're gonna welcome over the beautiful miss keisha i'll see you after the show right out here in the ocean plaza for our 90s music party hope you enjoy the show and we'll see you soon He's really excited to see us. We've got a little doggy friend. Little, those little trembling ears were vibrating a little bit, but not bad. Good night. We're back in the cabin. Indeed. That was it. Um, what do we have to talk about? Showtime. Flick. flick, of course. Yeah. And dinner. And I think that's it. All right. How was your flick? Did you flick it? No. Flick is still one of my favorite shows. And I think the reason being is it evokes so much emotion because it's tied to movies and things like that and this cast is so good what i like about them is there's a lot of high notes in some of these movie songs right True. and they don't try and go for the high notes if they know it's not going to sound like perfect you know and it's not that they can't hit it but they make it different and pretty and it all sounds so good and the dancing was phenomenal their flick was amazing mm -hmm. it's such a good show you have to adapt the songs to fit <laughs> exactly no it was it beautiful works. and they did it their own way which was awesome true my only complaint dun, dun, about dun. the theater 
besides the people talking in the back row. Which right, is we had some issues. It's a common today. occurrence on every cruise ship. I don't know what's with that. But um, on this particular ship, Ocean Plaza is right outside the theater, and people are coming in, and I don't think they're closing the doors. Yeah. Well, they had like live music out there. And every time there was any quiet song, you could full on hear what was happening in Ocean Plaza. It's a carnival. If you happen to watch this video, mm. yeah, I don't know. Shut the doors to the theater, please. <laughs> Just that would be so much nicer for the people who are in the back. Couple of rows yeah. at least. And you know people are sitting back there because everybody wants to see the shows that are amazing. Mm -hmm. Just some advice. Or don't sit in the back if that might bother you. True. Yeah, we talked to a new friend as well yeah. who sat in the back row of the balcony during Steve Height's yeah. show. And there was a rock band in Ocean Plaza. Could barely hear Steve mm -hmm. Heights during a lot of his stuff because the music from Ocean Plaza, I guess, bled up and was so loud. They just need to close those doors and it would fix the problem. Probably. Completely. Yeah. But or it was Ocean an amazing Plaza. show. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I guess we're down to dinner. Yeah. So let's down it. <laughs> Downing some dinner. Just kidding. There is your soup. That's that cheesy chicken soup. Uh, wild green Ooh, hair, yeah. rice chicken soup. It's this wild. is so good. I like to say it's like a hug in a bowl because it's just like comfort food. Really tasty. Mm -hmm. yeah. I get that one a lot, but I didn't tonight. <laughs> I got the barbecue flatbread, which I also get a lot. Nice barbecue chicken, very tangy, potent cheese. I like. They got some strong cheeses in certain areas of this ship, but I like it. Uh, <laughs> everything about it, I enjoyed. Picked it up, ate it like a pizza for half of it. So, mm. Mm. caprese. Always one of my traditional favorites: mozzarella, tomato. You add some salt and pepper. Has some really good like pesto with it. Love mm. it. Yes, I had the baked onion soup. Now it was. I'm gonna give the baked onion soup an okay. It was. It was passable. It was not as like rich and unctuous as the old, I guess, French onion soup that used to be an everyday menu on Carnival. Um, it was good. I like the cheese. I like the bread. The broth was a little weak, uh, and there were onions in it, which was good. So anyway, I give. I give it a okay. <laughs> you had the grilled chicken. Off the everyday menu. Yeah, and I substituted rice for potatoes, but the potatoes are on that picture I gave sure. away. Um, it was good. It was grilled well. I could have used some more vegetables always. I gave and you a piece of broccoli and trade for those did. potatoes He's to be very fair. nice husband. Um, and the rice, I can't complain about that. It was always cooked really well. I had the cornmeal crusted chicken option, which is the less healthy chicken. It had um some mashed potatoes, two pieces of broccoli, of which I ate one, and a nice little like a tomato chutney thing that I think had basil in it. That was nice. The chicken was cooked well, a little under seasoned, but you slapped some tomato chutney on there, maybe a little poop poop of salt. It was really, it was good actually. You had the praline cake. Yeah, so um, this was one of the better praline cakes I've had. It is sugar free, so sometimes it has that like sugar free taste. This tasted just like a regular dessert, and it was delicious. Wow. Yeah. You know what tasted like a regular dessert to me? Cheese. <laughs> I love a cheese plate. Sadly, this one had two pieces of Swiss, and like something else that wasn't blue and then something else that wasn't blue because when i ordered it i was like oh i'm gonna get a cheese plate and i, I said to the waiter, i said i love that blue cheese oh maybe he there. thought you said you don't love blue cheese <sighs> i love it okay <laughs> so it was good overall i mean cheese you know how can you go wrong yeah so. dinner's been really nice it has i've Not actually bad. had one of the more solid food journeys so far mm -hmm. on this ship just we have a, a few yeah. Different tweaks, that's all. And we have some places we still need to try. Yeah, um, yeah, like the burger. The burger place. place. <laughs> yeah, we're running out of days. Uh, but that's it. So we are turning in early, short port day tomorrow yeah. in Ketchikan. Rainy port day tomorrow in Ketchikan. We're going to see how Chile. it is. <laughs> yeah. Alaska weather, essentially. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow. See you guys. Catch us if you can. Good night. Bye. <laughs>